Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. And this beautiful, gorgeous young lady standing next to me is my friend Frankie. Frankie, you look so cute in that headband. Frida is going to freak out. I have to tell you the story of this headband. Okay, so we were doing a uh, Frida Kahlo party mm -hmm. and we needed something that you know had the big sort of Mexican flower headband look. And so my sister Frida, who you've met, mm -hmm. who happens to be an amazing crafter and sometimes appears on the show, she came up with these, uh, I think, adorable wrapped felt roses. And so today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make one. We're not gonna be quite so elaborate as your headdress because this is, of course, one of my sister's creations, but we're gonna do a simplified version that looks like this. So for this project, you're going to need assorted felt in all kinds of bright and pretty colors, scissors, a glue gun, a Sharpie pen, quarter, and a headband. First thing that we are going to do is we're going to cut our felt into one, it's about one and a quarter, a little teeny bit more than an inch, and 10 inches long. So it's about an inch by 10 inches. Okay. We're gonna cut those into pretty strips like that. And then I've also got some, and these are more like a half an inch, mm -hmm. and then they're about six inches long. Okay. So we cut those ahead of time just to have them, and we've got all this extra pretty felt too that we've got. So to make a flower, what we need to do is take our measurement here, and if you, if you want to, you can use a ruler instead, but in this case, we've got this great mat, and it just makes it so much easier. So every inch, right, every place you see one of these lines, Frankie, I want you to put a little dot. Okay. So you're going to make 10 little dots on here, or actually nine little dots, so that you end up with 10 little squares. Keep going, that's great. And if you would do the same thing on this one, here it is, Okay. so that we've got two. Because one of the sets we're actually gonna cut into little squares, so we're just gonna cut those into little one inch squares. That's great, super. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so now you wanna take your scissors and just cut into one inch squares, like that. Okay. So we only need about five or six of them. So once we've got that done, then we're gonna make the actual flower shape. And to do that, we've discovered that if you take your felt and you use a quarter, this makes a great template. And Frankie, I'm gonna let you take over for here because you got enough squares there, that's good. Okay. And what you're gonna do is lay the quarter in between your inch marks, right? Mm -hmm. And just trace up and over. Yep, just like that. Up and over, that's it. And you can even come down a little bit farther. There you go. And do the same thing there. Should I connect it? Very good. Yeah, it's perfect. So then you end up with it looking something like that. I'm gonna let Frankie just continue on with hers, but you can see how you end up there, Frankie, all the way up and over. Mm -hmm. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take our scissors and start cutting it out from the end. And you just cut along that line so that you cut all that pattern out. Okay. And it ends up looking like that. Okay. Now, Frankie, these little squares that you cut, we also want to turn these into petals like this. Okay. Now, you don't have to trace them out if you don't want to, but you can, of course, if you're feeling like, you know, that would help. But really, all you're doing is going up and, like I like to use my thumb because I have a big thumb, you're just going up and over and making little petals like that. Okay. And I've actually cut us a bunch of them, so you don't have to do that right now. Because I want to get you to the fun part, which is putting these together. Okay. So here's your flower petals. And here's your central flower. What you're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of glue. And we're just gonna take this glue and we're gonna start rolling it onto itself like this. Right? Okay. 
So go ahead and you roll and I will put a little bead of glue for you. That's okay. And you just keep on rolling, miss. So she's going to roll this whole piece of felt onto itself. The one thing I have learned with hot glue is you don't want to do the entire 10 inch strip all at once because what happens is your glue can tend to cool down before you've gotten to the end. So it's, it's better to do it in maybe three to four inch swashes. There you go. Great. Perfect. You've got a pretty start to your rose. There you can see that. Mm -hmm. Now, to make it even better, you're going to add some petals. Exactly. Now, this is where you can go to town, and I'm going to give you the glue gun and okay. just let you go happy. So you've got a bunch of them here. Okay. What I like to do is, I'll show you how I'd like to do the okay. first. Remember how you and I, when we've made flowers before in the past, we mm -hmm. kind of go north, south, east, west? Yep. Well, this time, we're going to just kind of basically go around. So that's a little different. A yeah, exactly. It's a little teeny bit different from what we've done before. Okay. But because of the nature of the fabric, it works better to go in circles than it does like with duct tape. When we worked with duct tape and stuff before, you know how you and I have always gone yeah. opposite sides. Well, this, you really kind of want to work in one direction. So I'm going to let you take over. There you go. I'm stuck. <laughs> I do that all the time. So I'll let you add a few more. Okay. Okay, there you go. Where should I go? Should I go? Well, we were at this one, so yeah, maybe the little bit further there. Great. So you can add three, you can add four, you can add five, you can add as many petals as you want to fill it out. The more petals you add, the bigger it's going to get. And then once you get to a point that you're happy with, remember we had that little tiny one inch piece of green? Yep. We're going to wrap that around the bottom. So what do you think? Another one or are you good? Yeah, I'm going to add one more right You here. got it. Now one of the things that's kind of fun is you can mix your colors up too. You don't always have to stick with one color. Great. Okay. Super. Okay. Okay, so Frankie, what we're going to do is we're going to add this strip around the bottom. Okay. But the thing about it is, instead of going like up high, we want to actually add it so that some of our felt sticks down off the bottom. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put a little bead around here like that and let you put that on. Good. I think, I think I'm more dangerous with the glue <laughs> gun than letting you just do this by yourself, to tell you the truth. <laughs> That's a girl. And watch your finger there. And let's just add a little teeny bit more here. Okay. There you go. Great. And now we're just going to add a tiny, tiny, tiny bit here, right? Mm-hmm. And we'll let that dry, and then we're just going to snip that off. Yes, you want to snip off the extra? Sure. So I've cut myself a little tiny circle here. And this is how we're going to attach it to the headband. Okay. Ooh, that looks great. So Frankie, what we want to do is figure out where you want to put it on the headband. Now, the reason that we kept this extra here is so that we can actually kind of just like inset it, just mm. like that. See, we inset it like that so we can glue it nice. And then we can actually wrap these little pieces and seal them off with this little ah. circle. Right, exactly. So where would you like to put that? I'm going to put this right here. Okay. So I'm going to let you do that. I'm just going to put some glue here. And you go ahead and put it on. And like I said, when you push it down, that insets it a little bit. Good. Great. And now we can take this little guy and just basically lay him right in there, and that will lock the whole thing in. So can I have one more? Yeah. So let's do that. You want to use that one that's a little bigger? Sure. Just watch your finger there. Excellent. Great. Now, if you wanted to, at this point in time, you could add some leaves mm -hmm. if you wanted to. 
You could add another flower if you wanted to. So here's a couple more flowers. I'll cut you some leaves. And these are some fun, these are just little pieces that are rolled up together to make kind of like little buds. Ah, you could use those cool. if you want to. And for more great ideas, come and check us out at sobi-world.com. Ooh, pretty.